Welcome back to another episode of Marcel Hyde Mindset. And I want to remind you, click that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click that notification bell. So when an episode does drop, it goes straight into your inbox, all right? So today's message, throughout the week, I go through a bunch of experiences in my life that, you know, I want to bring to the show, that I want to share with my audience and my followers. And, you know, I was talking to someone and they asked me, they said, how do you come up with these ideas? How do you come up with these concepts? And I'm like, these are ideas and concepts that everyone has in their mind, that everyone goes through. It's just, I'm able to express it in a way where I could break it down. So if people are going through similar situations, they can learn from the situations I go through. Maybe they can, you know, approach it differently. Maybe they can do things differently. So, you know, that that's what my gift is. And I've embraced it and I love it and I enjoy it. And it's natural. I don't have to force anything, all right? So messages just come to me. They naturally flow out. You know, it's not, I'm not stressed out. Even when I don't feel good, because I'm going to be 100% honest with you. Right now, I don't feel 100%. Ate something last night. My stomach was funny. And I was hesitant to even shoot this video. I'm like, what if I come on, I don't sound uh, strong? Or what if I come on and my words don't make any sense? But I was still moved to create a video today because I realized you're going to have to also you know, create things when you're in pain. You're also going to have to create things when you don't feel good, right? You're not always going to feel 100%, and that is okay. That is a part of life. You hope and you wish that you feel 100%, but that's not the reality for most people. Not everybody's able to feel 100%, 100% of the time. That's just not life, okay? And once you realize that, you when you are feeling some type of pain or, or something's feeling uncomfortable, you're able to push through it, right? I feel uncomfortable right now, but I'm able to push through it. And I realize when I am comfortable, I can deliver even a better message. So imagine if I'm uncomfortable and I'm still giving good wisdom or good knowledge or good information, what can I do when I'm comfortable? So pushing through the times when you're feeling uncomfortable, pushing through the times when you're not feeling good, you just have to get up anyways and do it. All right. And eventually the 10 minutes will be finished from this video and I can go and rest and do what I got to do. Right. So remember guys, my ebook is available for purchase. And today I want to really talk about, that wasn't the topic that I wanted to discuss today. That just came to me because of what I'm experiencing in the current moment. But the topic that I want to discuss today is developing your winning mentality or mindset. And it could be tied to what I just said, right? I have a winning mentality, a winning mindset that no matter what I will push through, I will do what it takes to win. And you have to have that mentality each and every time you wake up and attack the day, right? Because the minute you have the losing mentality, you don't give yourself an opportunity to win, right? So being a former athlete, every week we had our games. I never went into a game being like, oh, I'm going to lose this game. Anybody has that mentality that they're going to lose the game, then you probably shouldn't even start playing the game. You should just tell the team you win. Why would you ever go into a game already believing or thinking that you're going to lose? Because how do you expect yourself to win if you go into the game already having that mentality? So no matter what it is in life, I always have the mentality, I am going to win and I'm going to do my best to win, knowing in my mind that I might lose. You know, I don't go in thinking I'm going to lose, but it's a possibility. So knowing that I might lose, what I will do is if I did lose, I'm okay with it. But I have a winner's mentality in the sense that I go into every situation believing in my mind and thinking in my mind that I am going to win. Why am I thinking otherwise? Why am I having doubt, fear, not believing that I can win? Why would I not go in to anything in life believing that I'm going to win? Even a job interview. If I walk into that job interview, I don't believe that I'm going to win, then do you think the employers are going to believe that I'm the right candidate? No, I've already given off something to them. I can't fully understand or fully explain what it is, but if you're walking into a room and you're walking in not believing in yourself and you're walking in negative, then what do you expect? You have to realize that you have to develop your winning mentality. And a lot of people say, how do I develop that winning mentality, right? Do the work is the first step on how you could develop that winning mentality. You know, are you reading all the books? Are you uh, trying to become the best in your craft or your skill? Are you doing all the research? Are you putting in the extra hours, the extra work? Then you can walk confidently. I'm shooting a video every single week so I can come on here every single week and confidently speak because I'm doing the work. And even if I fail, even if I stumble my words, even if, you know, it's not the perfect sentence or it's not the perfect setting, I can still come on this camera confidently and say I can impact somebody 
on this video confidently because I've been working on myself. I'm working on these videos. I'm working on my skills. I'm getting better every single day, but I come on these videos confidently with a winning mentality, knowing that every video I'm winning, every video, every single video, if I don't come on here with a winning mentality, how am I going to help you guys win? Because I know that's everybody's goal. Everybody wants to win. Nobody wants to lose, but losing is good as well too because it teaches you lessons. But everyone's objective is to win. So you have to first come from the frame of mind that you want to win, all right? I do apologize. It's a little, it's a little cold out here, so my nose is running a bit. But that doesn't stop us from doing what we have to do, you know? What a, what, a, what a way to shoot this video today. You know, my stomach was in pain. It's freezing outside. My nose is running. But guess what? I'm still here shooting the content. I'm not going to let anything stop me. That's the mentality you have to have. Do not let anything stop you. Nothing's going to stop you. You're going to do whatever it takes. Rain, shine, sick, nose running, whatever it is. You know, you're willing to do what it takes. All right, you have to develop that winning mentality and winning mindset, though. It's very important. More people will want to be around you when you have that winning mentality because the majority of people want to win. But if you have a losing mentality, that gives off a vibration of negative energy. You know, winning mentality gives off a positive energy, a positive vibration, and negative thinking and not thinking you're going to win gives off a very low vibrational and negative vibe, right? So you think people want to be around people who are negative? You think people want to be around people that want to lose and don't want to win? No. That's draining. You know, that drains your energy. And everybody wants to have energy. Everybody wants to be high energy. It's a better feeling when you're high energy. So you have to develop your winning mentality. Do whatever it takes to develop that winning mentality. And like I said, no matter what, always believe that you're going to win. Always believe that it's going to work out for you. Always have that belief system, that paradigm, that programming in your mind that I'm going to win. And I have that mentality. I'm going to win. So no matter what, if I lose today... I know that I could wake up tomorrow and I will win. Even if it takes me a year, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eventually, I will win if I hold that thought in my mind that I am going to win and I am a winner. It's a mentality. You could not tell me otherwise. Losing is a part of the game, yes, of life, of sports, of everything in general. You're not going to win everything. But when you do lose, that's a great opportunity to learn. So you may have, you may have even won. When you look at it from a different perspective, the way you look at things change. If I look at it from a different perspective, I've lost. So let's say as an athlete, I lost the game. Okay, I go back and I evaluate. Why did I lose this game? What did I do to lose the game? What did our, my team do to lose the game if I'm playing a, a team sport? What can we do differently next time so we can win the game? So it's actually not a bad thing to lose. But I do go in that game, like I said early in the video, believing that I am going to win. Every day I wake up, I believe that I'm going to win the day. I believe that things are going to work in my favor. I believe an opportunity is going to come my way. I don't think the other way. I don't think, oh, there's no opportunity. I'm not going to win today. Today's going to be a bad day. If that's my mindset, then what do you think I'm going to attract into my life? I refuse that. I refuse that. I know it could happen. It's a potential. Anything could happen, right? That's just life. But I'm choosing to wake up every day because I know it's a choice to believe that things are going to work out. I am going to believe that I am going to win today and I'm going to have that winning mentality each and every single day. All right. Remember, guys, click that link in the bio for my ebook. Subscribe to the channel. Click that notification bell. All right. And share this content to somebody that you think it could help them grow. Mindset is everything.